Maccabim Revi'i for Maccabees 10. Now this one, having endured this praiseworthy death, the third was brought along, and exhorted by many to taste and save his life. But he cried out and said, Know ye not that the father of those who are dead begat me also, and that the same mother bore me, and that I was brought up in the same tenets? I abjure not the noble relationship of my brethren. Now then, whatsoever instrument of vengeance ye have, apply it to my body, for ye are not able to touch, even if ye wish it my soul. But they, highly incensed at his boldness of speech, dislocated his hands and feet with racking engines, and wrenching them from their sockets, dismembered him. And they dragged round his fingers and his arms and his legs and his ankles. And not being able by any means to strangle him, they tore off his skin. Together with the extreme tips of his fingers, flayed him and then haled him to the wheel. Round which his vertebral joints were loosened and he saw his own flesh torn to shreds the streams of blood flowing from his entrails. And when about to die, he said, We, O oh, accursed tyrant, suffer this for the sake of divine education and virtue, but you, for your impiety and bloodshedding, shall endure indissoluble torments. And thus, having died worthily of his brethren, they dragged forward the fourth, saying, do not share the madness of your brethren, but give regard to the king and save yourself. But he said to them, You have not a fire so scorching as to make me play the coward. By the blessed death of my brethren, and the eternal punishment of the tyrant, and the glorious life of the pious, I will not repudiate the noble brotherhood. Invent, O tyrant, tortures, that you may learn, even through them, that I am the brother of those tormented before. When he had said this, the bloodthirsty and murderous and unhallowed Antiochus ordered his tongue to be cut out. But he said, Even if you take away the organ of speech, yet Elohim hears the silent. Behold, my tongue is extended. Cut it off. For not for that shall you extirpate, rather, extirpate our reasoning. Gladly do we lose our limbs in behalf of Elohim. But Elohim shall speedily find you, since you cut off the tongue, the instrument of divine melody.